What's up, Digidestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar. And did you hear the bell? That means it's another day in the digital market watch. So without further ado, let's get into it and talk about all the good stuff. First off, let's get into some high rarity cards that are starting to tank. So first off, remember the championship card that was like uber expensive earlier in the year? You know, it was almost costing you $40 a pop. Well, we're finally getting below that. We're starting to reach $20 range, and that's good to see. So just let it keep cooling off a little bit. Pick it up when you feel comfortable. Maybe pick up one to two copies if you are a D Brigade fanatic. So this is a good pickup once this gets a little bit lower. And it'll keep falling down because I don't see anything high end co Commandermon or Digi Police anytime soon. So with that in mind, I expect this to start teetering more and more shall we say Europe side though you guys are in the 10s to 12s and you kind of get up to the 15s a little bit but you definitely have a lot uh, more lower end than we do and that's kind of good to see and that's actually a good pickup price Geo Greymon from championship falling down as well it's fallen down since earlier last week I would say at a 5% to now close to 8% that is good to see that this card is falling down. I don't know if this is going to be a long term falls down. Depends on what they do with Shine Greymon in the future. But it's good to see that this card has slowly cooled off, actually. Your upside looking like 14s to 16s. Yeah, you guys don't have many listings. So, yeah, they're hyping this up a little bit on your side. And it just comes with the territory. Then Seedramon promo saw some bump a little bit because of the top it produced this weekend no surprise there it just happens but we're looking at twenty dollars a pop not bad could be a lot worse but see Jermon, see Jermon. your side looking like 15 to 20 euro range going down a little bit as well i mean the promo is at two of i the, it's not a bad pickup if you can grab them for forty dollars total and just hold on to it the only time it's going to really suck is if they announce a reprint of some sort in the future which they seem to be doing with the entry event packs for regionals and stuff like that i wouldn't be surprised if seed mom becomes the next one so just pick up what you think i don't think the deck's worth the investment all too much it's just some people enjoy it and it's just what you feel like playing i would not recommend something just to pick up to hold this is not a card to do so shine gray mom burst mode alternate arts going down even more guys this might be a good time if you guys are planning on playing the next set with Shine Greymon. This might be a good pickup here as well because you definitely need two to three of it if you're going to just be plowing through your opponent. Europe side looking like 15s to 20 to euro range. Kind of expected here. Not bad if you can get them in the 15 euro range for your side. Shine Greymon alternate art across time looking like $15 to $16 a pop, which isn't bad. Luckily, with this, there are two alternate arts. It's whatever your preference is at the end of the day, what you're going to make for that. So even taking a look now, we do have the finalist version, but let, let's get the regular one going here. Regular one, though, 15s to 20, 20 euro range. Not terrible. Could be a lot worse, but we're in the good, good part here. But the finalist here across time is about 12 to $12.50. So if you want an alternate art and has the finalist stamp, I think this might be a good pick up here just because it is a higher competitive level of flex than it than it is to flex the ulti. So that is just my opinion. There is no right or wrong answer. Whatever you think is going to be worth your value and what you think is a bigger flex because that is you i mean they're both classified max rarity cards the only thing that is more max rarity is the championship but i'm not going to make a suggestion of you dropping a hundred dollars a pop for it europe side though looking like 11 to 12 euro range then we get into mirai's here mirai is just holding strong in this 45 dollar range she's just getting a little bit of hype yet the deck isn't doing anything this is following suit of similar to rena rena just held strong for so long until the deck could not physically be competitive in people's eyes and people just want to be off the deck 
And I think once we get closer to the holiday season, when we're getting closer to Nats, I expect to be an overflood of Mirai's. And that'll probably be when you want to pick these up. But right now, I just, I don't see it unless you are playing competitively. And you're trying to make this deck go for uh, 34s. The 35 euro range, not terrible. Could be worse. Pyildramon had a buyout. Like, it went to zero copies yesterday. And now it's back into the $25 range. It's going to hold strong here, guys. I, I'm sorry. This, this, this deck is going to be nuts when it gets released. Europe Silent, like 10 euros. The... 14 euros Mastermon ace inferno section ex06 eight dollars eight dollars yeah this is just not looking good europe side looking like six to seven euro range then you have agudamon alternate art inferno extension i just i think picking this up just to get if you guys have only two copies so far this is a good time to pick up the third i think when you start thinking about pi, pi, paladin mode you're going to be having to want to get a third Ugudamon as soon as possible somewhere in the deck. And this is going to be your best shot because you want to get the stuff in the trash as soon as possible. Excuse me. I forgot Ugudamon. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Yes, I did. Interesting. We'll get Ugudamon right now here. Uh, Ogu, uh, Ogudo. Udo. How do you spell it? Okay. This is why I'm bad at spelling, boys and girls. No. You know what? What's quicker is just doing this. Command prompts. Copy paste. Boop. You know you're there. I know you're there. So they're going to look, though, 24s, not bad pickup price either. I think that's a good investment for long term. Ragnar Lord Ace Alternate Inferno Extension, $18 and going down. No surprise here. I don't expect this to be crazy expensive, but I mean, Ragna is doing some shenanigans a little bit at local scenes and box tournaments and stuff. I don't know if long term it'll do big competitive stuff. I don't think it's topped a regional level yet, but... A deck that you can do f four rounds with is better, is really good into local scenes for box tournaments and stuff, of course. But decks that need to go nine rounds, you're going to face worse matchups consistently, and that's kind of gets scary. Europe side looking like 12 euros to 10 euro range. Not surprised there. It just kind of falls for that. Then you do have Zubermon promo finally cooling off a little bit, but we're, we're at 35s to 40 still. This, this, this is just just phenomenal if you guys have this and you have no plans on playing ragna flip this make your money this is a good money investment people are paying the price your upside looking like 30 euros 250 euros ew 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 i don't like this price range Graumon gen con this card is holding strong at a hundred dollars still kind of crazy to me i know it doesn't see really any competitive play but it's just good to see Europe side looking like 70 euros to oh, 95 euros. God, this is expensive. Gallimon X Antibody Alternate Art. You guys should probably pick this up if you plan on playing Gallimon in the future. This is just a good max rarity card that will be valued for yourself, especially because next set, you, if you're going to be playing Gallimon, this might be worth it. Europe side looking like eight, nine euros, 10 euros, 14 euros. Crazy, but X Antibody is definitely worth the investment, especially though it's going to get a replacement. It's good to see that this Gallimon has some value. Crimson Mode, Alternate Arts. We're down to $26 a pop. I think that's actually a good investment point here. Instead of that 31s and stuff like that, 25s, if you guys have been holding off on picking up Crimson Mode, it's now at least affordable-esque for a secret rare that is really old to get but is still overly competitive. I think this is a good pickup point. Yes, we, we are getting the Ace version coming out, but... You do want to have at least one one copy of this in your deck list. Your side looking like 30 euros, 34 euros. I wouldn't pick it up on your side. Your guys are a little expensive. Gilamon Ultimate Cup, $18 a pop. I think this is a good pickup price as well. This is what one you would probably want to have for your deck list. I think this is a good investment here. Your side looking like 10 euros, 11 euros. 
Yomon X Antibody X Record. Finally, just like, remember when this card was overly expensive? Like this thing was pushing like 20s to 30s. Now we're down into the 9s and 10s, which is good to see that it's cooled off. I know this is only good if you're doing the Gilamon promo kind of GG mod egg. And that is fine if you are doing that. That is a line of play for you. And just keep that in mind. Uh, Europe side looking like 4 euros to 10 euros. Sukuyamon made mode alternate art across time. We're at 32s. This is just a card you should probably wait on just for the female power to come out. And this should lower this just a wee bit. And that's when you'll pick that up. But right now, the waifu tax is holding her strong. Europe side, she's gone. I know there is hype because of the next set. But looking at it, 35, 50 euros. God. Sukuyamon alternate art from Digital Hazard EXO2. You're going to want to probably pick her up. 16s 15s it's not a bad pickup price yes we know that it's going to get a common printing if it's an alternate art common printing that's fine but right now for a foily girl 16 dollars a pop is not bad you know europe side looking like 14s to 17 euros but all in all guys though this is the market watch hopefully you guys enjoyed it i did some recommendations on max rarity pieces that you're going to want to have by now these there are some good pieces that are worth the investment some pieces are not but guys hopefully enjoyed the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button stay safe stay healthy and i'll catch you next one peace